In computer science, a calling convention is an implementation level scheme for how subroutines receive parameters from their caller and how they return a result. Differences in various implementations include where parameters, return values and return addresses are placed, and how the tasks of preparing for a function call and cleaning up the environment afterward are divided between the caller and the callee. Calling conventions may be related to a particular programming language's evaluation strategy but most often are not considered part of it, as the evaluation strategy is usually defined on a higher abstraction level and seen as a part of the language rather than as a low-level implementation detail of a particular language's compiler. Overview, calling conventions may differ in, where parameters, return values and return addresses are placed the order in which actual arguments of formal parameters are passed, how a return value is delivered from the callee back to the caller, how the task of setting up and cleaning up after a function call is divided between the caller and the callee, whether and how metadata describing the arguments is passed, where the previous value of the frame pointer is stored, which is used to restore the frame pointer when the routine ends, where any static scope links for the routines. Non-local data access are placed. How local variables are allocated can sometimes also be part of the calling convention, in some cases, differences also include the following, conventions on which registers may be directly used by the callee, without being preserved, which registers are considered to be volatile and, if volatile, need not be restored by the callee, although some languages actually may specify this partially in the programming language specification. Different implementations of such languages may typically still use various calling conventions, often selectable. Reasons for this are performance, frequent adaptation to the conventions of other popular languages, and restrictions or conventions imposed by various platforms. This must be considered when combining modules written in multiple languages, or when calling operating system or library APIs from a language other than the one in which they are written. In these cases, Special care must be taken to coordinate the calling conventions used by caller and callee. Even a program using a single programming language may use multiple calling conventions either chosen by the compiler, for code optimization, or specified by the programmer. CPU architectures always have more than one possible calling convention. With many general purpose registers and other features, the potential number of calling conventions is large. Although some architectures are formally specified to use only one calling convention, supplied by the architect. Calling conventions on different platforms. Equals 68 carats equals, the most common calling convention for the Motorola 68000 series is, DO, D1, AO and A1 are scratch registers, all other registers are Kali saved, A6 is the frame pointer, which can be disabled by a compiler option. Parameters are pushed onto the stack, from right to left, return value is stored in DO. Equals x86 equals. The x86 architecture is used with many different calling conventions. Due to the small number of architectural registers, the x86 calling conventions mostly pass arguments on the stack, while the return value is passed in a register. Some conventions use registers for the first few parameters which may improve performance for short and simple leaf routines very frequently invoked. Example call. Typical Kali structure, of the instructions below may be optimized away in simple procedures. Equals power PC equals, the power PC architecture has a large number of registers so most functions can pass all arguments in registers for single level calls. Additional arguments are passed on the stack and space for register-based arguments is also always allocated on the stack as a convenience to the called function in case multi-level calls are used and the registers must be saved. This is also of use in variadic functions, such as PRINTF, where the function's arguments need to be accessed as an array. A single calling convention is used for all procedural languages. Equals MIPS equals the most commonly used calling convention for 32-bit MIPS is the O32ABI which passes the first four arguments to a function in the registers $AO$A3. Subsequent arguments are passed on the stack. Space on the stack is reserved for $AO$A3 in case the Kali needs to save its arguments, but the registers are not stored there by the caller. The return value is stored in register $VO. 
a second return value may be stored in $V1. The 64-bit ABI allows for more arguments in registers for more efficient function calls when there are more than four parameters. There is also the N32 ABI which also allows for more arguments in registers. The return address when a function is called is stored in the $R register automatically by use of the JAL or JALR instructions. The function prolog of a MIPS subroutine pushes the return address to the stack. The N32 and N64 ABIs pass the first eight arguments to a function in the registers $AO $A7. Subsequent arguments are passed on the stack. The return value is stored in the registers $VO. A second return value may be stored in $V1. In both the N32 and N64 ABIs all registers are considered to be 64 bits wide. On both O32 and N32 per Newton 64 the stack grows downwards, however the N32 per Newton 64 ABIs require 64-bit alignment for all stack entries. The frame pointer is optional and in practice rarely used except when the stack allocation in a function is determined at runtime, for example, by calling alloca. For N32 and N64, the return address is typically stored 8 bytes before the stack pointer although this may be optional. For the N32 and N64 ABIs, a function must preserve the zero Singapore dollars dollar S7 registers, the global pointer, the stack pointer and the frame pointer. The O32 ABI is the same except the calling function is required to save the $GP register instead of the called function. For multi-threaded code, the thread local storage pointer is typically stored in special hardware register $29 and is accessed by using the MFHW instruction. At least one vendor is known to store this information in the $KO register which is normally reserved for kernel use, but this is not standard. The $KO and $K1 registers are reserved for kernel use and should not be used by applications since these registers can be changed at any time by the kernel due to interrupts context switches or other events equals sparc equals the sparc architecture unlike most risk architectures is built on register windows there are 24 accessible registers in each register window eight of them are the in registers eight are registers for local variables and eight are out registers the in registers are used to pass arguments to the function being called so any additional arguments need to be pushed onto the stack However, space is always allocated by the called function to handle a potential register window overflow, local variables, and returning a struct by value. To call a function, one places the arguments for the function to be called in the out registers, when the function is called the out registers become the in registers and the called function accesses the arguments in its in registers. When the called function returns, it places the return value in the first in register, which becomes the first out register when the called function returns. The system VABI, which most modern Unix-like systems follow, passes the first six arguments in in registers %I0 through %I5, reserving %I6 for the frame pointer and %I7 for the return address. Equals ARM equals, the standard 32-bit ARM calling convention allocates the 16 ARM registers as, R15 is the program counter. R14 is the link register, R13 is the stack pointer, R12 is the intra procedure call scratch register, R4 to R11, used to hold local variables, R0 to R3, used to hold argument values passed to a subroutine, and also hold results returned from a subroutine. If the type of value returned is too large to fit in R0 to R3, or whose size cannot be determined statically at compile time, then the caller must allocate space for that value at one time, and pass a pointer to that space in a row. Subroutines must preserve the contents of R4 to R11 and the stack pointer in particular, subroutines that call other subroutines must save the return address in the link register R14 to the stack before calling those other subroutines. However, such subroutines do not need to return that value to R14 a euro they merely need to load that value into R15, the program counter, to return. The ARM calling convention mandates using a full descending stack. This calling convention causes a typical ARM subroutine to, in the prologue, push R4 to R11 to the stack, and push the return address in R14, to the stack, 
copy any past arguments to the local scratch registers. Allocate other local variables to the remaining local scratch registers, do calculations and call other subroutines as necessary using BL, assuming R02 or 3, R12 and R14 will not be preserved. Put the result in R0, in the epilog, pull R4 to R11 from the stack, and pull the return address to the program counter of 15. Equals arm equals, the 64-bit arm calling convention allocates the 32 arm registers as, x30 is the link register, x29 is the frame register, x19 to x29 are Kali saved, x16 to x18 are the intra-procedure calls scratch register, x9 to x15, used to hold local variables, x8, used to hold indirect return value address, x0 to x7, used to hold argument values passed to a subroutine, and also hold results returned from a subroutine. The last register, stack pointer and zero register is referenced either as XSP or XZP. All registers starting with X have a corresponding 32-bit register prefixed with W. Thus, a 32-bit XO is called WO. Equals Super H equals Equals IBM 1130 equals the IBM 1130 was a small 16-bit word addressable machine. It had only six registers plus condition indicators, and no stack. The registers are instruction address register, accumulator, accumulator extension, and three index registers X1 a Euro X3. The calling program is responsible for saving ACC, EXT, X1, and X2. There are two pseudo operations for calling subroutines, Call to code non relocatable subroutines directly linked with the main program, and LIBF to call relocatable library subroutines through a transfer vector. Both pseudo ops resolve to a branch and store IAR machine instruction that stores the address of the next instruction at its effective address and branches to EA plus 1. Arguments follow the BSIA Euro a Euro. Usually these are one word addresses of arguments a Euro a Euro. The called routine must know how many arguments to expect so that it can skip over them on return. Alternatively, arguments can be passed in registers. Function routines return to the result in ACC for real arguments, or in a memory location referred to as the real number pseudo accumulator. Arguments and the return address were addressed using an offset to the IAR value stored in the first location of the subroutine. 1130 subroutine example, end sub declare sub an external entry point, sub DC0 reserved word at entry point, conventionally coded DC, subroutine code begins here, if there were arguments the addresses can be loaded indirectly from the return address, LDX01 sub load X1 with the address of the first argument. Return sequence, LDRES load integer result into ACC, if no arguments were provided, indirect branch to the stored return address, BI sub if no arguments were provided, END sub. Subroutines in IBM 1130, CDC 6600 and PDP 8 store the return address in the first location of a subroutine. Equals IBM system slash 360 equals. The IBM system slash 360 is another architecture without a hardware stack. The examples below illustrate the calling convention used by OS slash 360 and successors prior to the introduction of 64-bit Z architecture. Other operating systems for system slash 360 might have different calling conventions. Calling program LA1, ARGS load argument list address, L15, equals a sub, load subroutine address, BALR14, 15 branch to called routine 1. ARGS DCR, first, address of first argument, DCR, second. DCR, third, plus x80 million last argument 2, called program. Sub BQU this is the entry point of the sub program. Standard entry sequence. Using, 153, STM14, 12. 12, 13, save registers 4, street 13, save plus 4 save callers save area ADDR, LA 12, save chain save areas, street 12, 8, 13, LR 13, 12. Standard return sequence. L 13, save plus 45, LM 14, 12, 
12, 13, L15, RE T6, BR14 return to caller, save DS18 F save area 7, notes, that BALR instruction stores the address of the next instruction in the register specified by the first argument a euro register 14 a euro, and branches to the second argument address in register 15. The caller passes the address of a list of argument addresses in register 1. The last address has the high order bit set to indicate the end of the list. This limits programs using this convention to 31-bit addressing. The address of the called routine is in register 15. Normally this is loaded into another register and register 15 is not used as a base register. The STM instruction saves registers 14, 15, and 0 through 12 in the 72-byte area provided by the caller called a save area pointed to by register 13. The called routine provides its own save area for use by subroutines it calls. The address of this area is normally kept in register 13 throughout the routine. The instructions following STM update forward and backward chains linking this save area to the caller's save area. The return sequence restores the caller's registers. Register 15 is usually used to pass a return value. Declaring a save area statically in the called routine makes it non-reentrant and non-recursive. A reentrant program will dynamically acquire storage for a save area from the operating system and free it when returning. Equals threaded code equals. Threaded code places all the responsibility for setting up and cleaning up after a function call on the called code. The calling code does nothing but list the subroutines to be called. This puts all the function setup and cleanup code in one place a euro the prologue and epilogue of the function a euro rather than in the many places that function is called. This makes threaded code the most compact calling convention. Threaded code passes all arguments on the stack. All return values are returned on the stack. This makes naive implementations slower than calling conventions that keep more values in registers. However, Threaded code implementations that cache several of the top stack values and register a euro in particular, the return address a euro are usually faster than subroutine calling conventions that always push and pop the return address to the stack. See also References External links S.C. Johnson, D.M. Ritchie, Computing Science Technical Report No. 102, The C Language Calling Sequence, Bell Laboratories, September 1981, Introduction to Assembly on the Power PC, Mac OS X ABI Function Call Guide, Procedure Call Standard for the ARM Architecture, Embedded Programming with the GNU Toolchain, Section 10. C Startup, 